Good evening and welcome to the Better Culture Show. Uh, it's eight o'clock and we've got daylight still. The days are getting longer. So it's slightly different this evening. We've got a quiz for you instead of the usual Better Culture presentations. Mm. Uh, but it's, it's appropriate, it's current, it's topical. It's the end of the world quiz. So most of the questions, in fact, all of them will be about different endings of the world, just so that we can all feel at home and comfortable. Uh, and what I've discovered is actually that everybody seems to be running their um, Zooming sessions, meetings on Saturday night, because a lot of people who would have wanted to play the quiz came back to me and said, oh, I'm busy doing something else. So uh, to my surprise, everybody's Zooming now or having FaceTiming or, or whatever. But anyway, we've got four teams who are going to play the quiz. And uh, But you can play at home, of course. No Googling. It doesn't really work if you start Googling because uh, you're cheating. And if you win, but you've cheated, you'll feel like that guy who was on, who wants to be a millionaire, presumably, allegedly. We don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to hand you over now to the quiz master. So I'm going to sit back and just make sniping comments at various questions or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to hand you over to my good mate, Neville Stanick, the quiz master. <laughs> speak, Neville, speak. Right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, right, this is uh, going out to over 3 billion people, the largest television audience in history. And uh, as a result, there'll be a prize of a billion pounds. <laughs> we'll be glad to hear. So uh, it is an end of the world quiz. Um, the, there are four rounds, but uh, to help with the slides, the questions are numbered one to 40. So you'll, uh, so each 10 questions uh, will be a round, but obviously I'll tell you when you get to the end of the round. So we've got, um, the end of the world in fiction, the end of the world in religion and mythology, and then death, destruction, and disease. So uh, that's, as he all says, uh, very topical. So uh, if we make a start then, uh, round one. The end of the world in fiction. Uh, I should say several of these questions ha you can get several points on. So uh, question one. What is this film? And can you name either of the two characters who are left at the end? Should have made them easy to begin with, Nev. That would have. Uh... That first <laughs> question is easy. Is it? Oh, great. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm not taking part. <laughs> okay, I move on. Yep. Okay, right. Question two. What oh, I know that film. What year did it come out? Oh, for goodness sake. Worth a guess. Eighty? No, nineteen. I should add that um, not all these not all these um, pictures are the answer. Some of them are just clues, and some of them are purely illustrations. So they're all connected to the answer in some way, but they're not as simple as "What is this?" as you'll see. Uh, and do you get a point for being kind of one year out? Yeah, all right. I'll give you a point for one year out from that one. Do you get a T-shirt as well? What well, you how can buy a T-shirt with your billion pounds. How many points <laughs> do you get if you get it correct? Oh, you only get one <laughs> point for that. Sure, it should so, be two. Why? Because uh, <laughs> if you're roundabout, you get one. But if you're spot on, should be an extra reward. No, I'll give it, I'll get just one point for a, a year either way, or the real one. Okay. Okay. Yep. Right. Question three. 
This is Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. What are the names of his wife, son and daughter? Blank Long. faces all around there. Ever watched The like Walking Dead either? No. <laughs> if you haven't seen the film, I think it makes good. I feel like that woman who was answering on, uh, was it uh, Mastermind or something? And it was a question about Greta Thunberg. And she came out with Karen as the name of the... Uh, she just came out with some odd name. So, so what names are you after, Nev? His wife, his son and his daughter. Uh, right. I can start coughing answers to you if you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm thinking, Allegedly, sorry, allegedly. There, there are millions of people watching and uh, they'll all be exasperated with you lot from not knowing this. They'll be going, oh my God, it's so obvious. How come they don't know that? Or not. What's or the they... name of the film? It's not, it's a TV series, The Walking oh, Dead. Oh, right. Oh, crikey. I didn't even know it was a TV Television. series. Television, Eeyore. Right. Actually, ne Nev said question. that when he said the question. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, next yeah. one. What question are we on now? Four. And four. Number four. Right, it's not going to be as simple as what is that. Mm. What I want to know, what I want to know here is, what is the make and model of this Terminator? Oh my god! And you can have a point for the make, and you can have a point for the model. Renault Clio, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, they rust easily. That was. Uh... <laughs> Uh what might happen is this quiz might might go viral as the as the worst quiz of all time where no one knew any of the answers. Mm. A model for how not to do a quiz. <laughs> okay. Next one. Yep. Yeah. Right. This is um Denzel Washington in the Book of Eli. Uh, the question is, what is the Book of Eli? What is his book? You mean, is it a film? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. You mean in the film? What is the Book of Eli in the film, yeah. not the yeah. film? Yeah, book of Eli. The book in the film. You have to have watched a lot of these films, don't you, really, to answer it's, these It's questions. funny, that, isn't it? It's like, yeah. it's like knowing the answer to the question. Yeah. It's so, it's so helpful if you do. Ivor, is this the first time you've experienced the phenomenon of, of a quiz? Well, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, I have played quizzes with Nev before, actually, in a pub. And uh, I couldn't get any of the answers, actually, so it wasn't much of a help. But... Uh, <laughs> I managed okay. to get one or two, right? So uh... next one, question six. Now, no picture for this one. So the question is, who slowly and surely drew their plans against us? I'll repeat that again. Who slowly and surely drew their plans against us? Is this a film question? No. Oh. Just a regular question. Just a regular question. It's a very famous phrase. I'll give you all a clue. It was um, mine's infinitely greater than ours. That's the clue. Okay, number seven, question seven. Uh, that's the original book, I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. The question is, it was previously made as a film starring Charlton Heston. What was that film called? Uh, 
I'm sure most people will know that it was recently, well, in the last few years, made as a film by Will, with Will Smith. But before that, it was a film with Charlton Heston. So what was that one called? Actually, I think even trying to Google the answers, I wouldn't, I wouldn't manage to find them. Okay, question eight. Now, I know a lot of people have watched this in recent weeks because it's been touted as the, um, the most realistic uh, portrayal of a pandemic. So my question in this one, in this film, who plays Patient Zero? Who is the source of the virus when it starts? You mean the name of the character? Uh, no, I mean the name of the actor, actually. I doubt if anyone knows her name. Well done if you do, but there's no point for that. I want the actor. So who plays Patient Zero? <sighs> Robert's had enough. I need some refreshment. <laughs> you take a drink every time you think, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> Better not do that. <laughs> yeah, take a swig every time you think I've got that one right. Right, question nine. This is a still from the film On the Beach, but the question is, On the Beach is about what type of craft? You mean like a boat or something? Yeah. Or like needlepoint? No. no, not needlepoint, the other one, like vehicle, craft, whatever. Right, so repeat the question. The film On the Beach is primarily about what sort of craft? Are all your answers, Ivor, so far just the numbers? And I'm, I'm guessing left, right and centre with these answers. <laughs> I thought, you know, you've got to, you've got to have a guess at the very least. Well, I'm having fun. <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody can, maybe somebody can message you later, later saying, well, I got them all. I don't know what's wrong with you lot. Is, well, is anybody feeling confident? About, about the quiz? Yeah. Is everybody thinking, I've got this? No. Right. Next question. Number 10. Right, These are, this is a line from a poem. Boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. What's that from and by who? There is a clue in the picture if you know who you're looking at. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to the religious round next. <laughs> no, it's death and disease next. All oh, right, okay. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll wait a moment or two and then we'll do we'll do the answers for this round. So I can see Jay's doing a lot of conferring about these answers. It looks quietly confident. Okay. Right, can Craig, can we go back to picture one? Yeah. Okay. 
Right. This is from The Thing. Yes. Oh, oh someone's got an answer. Oh, I feel much, so much better now. Do you get any points for the director? No, you don't, because I didn't ask that. I know, but <laughs> I Work think I got that one. <laughs> no, Who but... was the director? John Carpenter? Yeah. You get yes. a point. Yeah. The, <laughs> the two characters left at the end were called McCready and Childs. Anybody got that? Watching who got that. So you could have got three points there. One for the thing, one for McCready, one for the uh, child. Wife's and is that Kurt Russell? Yes, it is. Yes. We didn't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> right, question two. Yeah, I totally said that was Kurt Russell. It came out in 1974. Oh, oh. one out. You can have 73, 74 or 75. Do you get half a point for 76? No. You I had 76 as well. The first time. You twisted my arm the first time. <laughs> so, question three. Rick Grimes's wife, son and daughter, in that order, were called Laurie, Carl and Judith. What Laurie was the daughter? Sorry? What was the daughter? Judith. Oh, I've got Grimes, Grimes, and Grimes. <laughs> I got the first letter of the daughter right. Hooray! Okay, <laughs> next one. That is a Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. So you can have a point for Cyberdyne, and you have a point for 101. They're the important. <laughs> I told you it was a Cyberdyne 102. <laughs> really? You managed to find you managed, you managed to get Cyberdyne. No. <laughs> okay. Is it, from, is it from Terminator? Uh, I think that was from Terminator 2, that's still, but it's the same thing. You. <laughs> right. The book of Eli. The book he's carrying is the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Next one. That quote is from War of the Worlds. Oh, I had Boris Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and obviously it was the Martians who slowly and surely drew their plans against us. Is that is that? A point for War of the Worlds and a point for Martians? Uh, no, because the, 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 the question was who. So uh, you can either have War of the Worlds or the Martians. OK. OK. Um, the answer to this, the previous film from this book is The Omega Man. <laughs> I've got one point so far. <laughs> And you're leading. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm on the scoreboard. Yes. Not nil Roaring point. ahead. <laughs> Doing one better than me either, and I'm not playing. <laughs> one, then. Patient Zero was played by Gwyneth Paltrow. I got that one. Hooray! Okay. Secret knowledge, either. Next one. Um, on the beach is about a nuclear submarine. Oh, I, I, I knew it. Someone got that. Yeah. Do we get do we get a point just for a submarine? Yeah, that was the okay. question. Yeah. 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 And number ten. Anyone get that? Is it King Solomon? No. That is o Ozymandias from Watchmen. So the poem is As a Ozymandias by Percy Shelley. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. That one. I figured it was that one. <laughs> no, I song, did. That, 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 that quote that? sounds like it'll fit our performance. <laughs> did you okay. get a point for knowing that was Ozymandias there? 
Uh, uh, yes, you do. Yeah. Right. Do we get two points because we both knew it was Ozymandias? <laughs> Not really. It doesn't work like that. Oh, right. We're on to uh, round two then. Oh, we were. Right, yeah. round two. Death and disease. Woohoo! Right, everyone ready? Yep. Uh, what is the Black Death Bacillus called or who discovered it? And that's a picture of him. Could you repeat the question, please? Who discovered the Black Death Bacillus or what's its actual name? So I'll settle for either the discoverer or the Latin name. Okay. Okay, moving on. Question 12, right. The Great Fire of London ended the Great Plague in London. But what type of disease was the Great Plague? Well, what do you mean, what type of disease? It was a killer. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not really a type, is it? <laughs> it was a type of disease. Well, it could have been typhoid, that... but it's not. There's a title for it. Yeah, it's a type of disease. As I said, it could be typhoid, except it's not typhoid. It's some other disease. Okay. Next one. Who discovered the concept of vaccination? And that's him. And uh, and you all learnt this at school. He was the per first person to vaccinate anyone against anything. Yeah, learn that at school. Good. Do you remember who it was? I do. Oh. Good. Okay, next one. Right. Can you name any four of the ten plagues of Egypt? So I'll give you a while to think about this one. There's 10 to choose from, and you only have to get four. You do get a point for each one, but only a maximum of four. All give me a wave when you think you've when you think you've got some, and we'll move on. We've had a question actually, Nev, about the Rick's wife question. Yeah. Um, do you get one point each for Rick's wife and children, so three in total? Yes. Yes. Can you repeat the question? Name four of the ten plagues of Egypt. Oh, yeah. Did that help you get far for one either? No, it actually didn't really help. She's just playing for time. <laughs> right, that'll do. Right. Fifteen.
Right, I just need key, there are a few key words here that will do. So, although it's not true, I hasten to add, it's not true. What's the most famous story about the death of Catherine the Great? Is it rude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that clue. It is rude. You know the story as well, Rob. <laughs> I know it's rude. I can't remember what it is. Well, I'm not helping you. All right, okay. As I say, a few keywords will do. There's only about there's only about three that you need. Is there a polite way of putting it? <laughs> um, I'm not going to put it poli particularly politely, but you probably don't have to use swear words. Just say it in Latin, it'd be fine. Yeah, okay. Fala <laughs> sequus. Okay, 16. Uh, what's, what's happening to you if you have mortification? So just to say that again, what's happening to you if you have mortification? Okay, yep. 18. 17, isn't it? Sorry, 17, yeah. 17. What does malaria mean? What does the word malaria mean? It's better round for me, this. Good. Right, 18. Now, pandemic is everyone everywhere getting a disease, but what's the word for when everyone living in or visiting a certain place gets that disease? So, pandemic is when everyone everywhere gets a disease, but what's the word for where everyone living in or visiting a certain place gets that disease. Is that a picture of India somewhere? Uh, I hesitate to say where it is. Well, well what made you choose it? <laughs> was it was uh, it represented the the question? Right, that's a clue that Nev's not going to give you. Okay, next yep. one, nineteen. What is a corona? What does the word mean? Okay. Yep. And the last one, 20. What used to be known as hydrophobia? Ah, wait a minute. Okay, I'll give you uh, give you a few seconds there. To, uh, that's the end of that round. So we'll just wait a little while. Anyone wants uh, more drinks or four course meal? 
<laughs> you want to go I'm around and make about this party? Ten plagues thing. You want to play a football match? Go to a pop concert? <sighs> Anything like that? No, he's off. More drinks, I think. I was going to get some crisps. Oh, not the crisps again, Rob. You know what happened last time you ate crisps on the, on the show? Oh, I've eaten them all. There's none left. Oh, we're lucky. I've got a tin of corned beef, but... <laughs> a tin of corned oh, beef crisps? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Right, let's start answering these questions. Yeah. I reckon I've done well on this one. Back to, uh, back to 11 then. Right. Um, that is Alexander Yersin and the Yersinia pestis was named after him. So the answer is either Alexander Yersin with a Y or Yersinia pestis. Who got that one then? No one. Now, as I said, Eel, there's, um, there's three billion people watching, so someone will have got it. Especially if they call Yersin. Sorry? Especially if they're named Yersin. They probably Yes. Yeah. Okay, number 12. Uh, the Great Plague of London was also the Black Death or Bubonic Plague. Uh, in fact, uh, bubonic plague lasted 300 years, which is encouraging. I that. <laughs> so, plague is a type of disease. A bubonic plague, or the Black Death, is a type of disease. A plague is just a plague. Right. I didn't really... It's a noun for bad stuff. So it's not like a virus or anything? Or a bacillus? Well, it's a bacillus. It's a bacteria, the Black Death. Right. Next one. Hopefully someone got this. Edward Jenner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who, uh, his own son, the scumbag. He did what? He vaccinated his own son. No, it was even worse than that. It was a, it was a farmer's son. Oh, I thought it was his. No, it was it was a farmer's son. Oh, Which right. Is worse is it? You know, would you mind if I infect your son with smallpox? <laughs> Presumably, there was more to it than that, but yeah. Okay, next one. Right, you could have had uh, water turning to blood which I'll accept as blood, frogs, oh, that one. mice, flies, livestock dying, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and firstborn children dying. Oh, yeah. So I'll read those out again. Water turning to blood, which I'll accept as blood, Frogs, lice, and in some in some listings it gives that as gnats as well. So lice or gnats, flies, livestock disease, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, and the dying of firstborn children. You did a heavy sigh there, Rob. <laughs> no, I don't think that was me. You're not, you're not doing so well on the plagues, then. <laughs> Surely no. everyone got locusts, didn't they? I got, I got a biscuit plague. <laughs> got what? A uh, biscuit wrapped. A plague of biscuits? Hair. I just, I just put a few things down. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, next one. Go on, then, Rob. What do you think the answer is? I put horse love. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That's Anyone else? Why story, did the story come about? The story is that she was so sexually insatiable that she died after trying to have uh, a horse 
lowered onto her to have sex with it and the harness broke and she was crushed to death. But mm. why did that story come about? Who invented uh, it? Was, was it unpopular or something? And someone thought, invented, I know, I'll come up with this story. I think it was invented by a French ambassador to blacken her name some, some time after. Ah, she spurned him then. So as long as you've got as long as you've got <laughs> sex, sex, horse, harness, crushed, anything like that, that'll do. Did you hear about that woman from Leeds who um, was in love with a chandelier? That's, this is not a joke. <laughs> Sounds like one. The limerick. Married to, the was it married to a... from Leeds? Totally at home, isn't it? Go on then, Rob. What, what's the punchline? There isn't one. She was, um, yeah, that's it. A woman was in love with a chandelier. I think, I think she, um, no, she married what a chandelier. Is? It was in the news last week. Oh, yes. Oh, so still is then. Mm, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Even after all these days of lockdown and being together. <laughs> was her name Crystal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Did you get one of those sound effects? Right, right. No. <laughs> right. Anyone know? Stiffening up. No. Fear of death. No. Gangrene. Huh? Oh. Well, where's rigor mortis come from then? Well, it's a different word. I didn't ask that. <laughs> Mortification, mortis, mortification, close enough. Yeah, but mortification is mortgage. The mortgage. Same. Your flesh is dying. That's where that comes from. Right, seventeen. Bad air. Yes, malaria means bad air. Number eighteen. Oh, I better, better got a mark there. Better write it down. Right, anyone get that one? Epidemic. Endemic. Oh, shit. A disease <laughs> endemic, if anyone who goes there gets it. I thought it's going to be a trick question, that one. It wasn't a trick question, if you knew the answer. <laughs> right, number 19. Crown. Yes, crown. Yeah, hence coronation. Yeah, corona means crown. Okay, number 20. Rabies. Rabies. Ooh. A fear of water. Not the only yeah. symptom of rabies. What you have to it has to be rabies. I can't just have fear of water. No. Oh. Well, so a symptom of rabies is becoming scared of water. Yes. Huh? Oh. Mm. Well, we, we've redeemed so, ourselves. Th th this isn't a trusted scientific. Uh, theory, but they do say that if if a rabbit dog bites you, you you got to somehow keep that dog. And if he gets afraid of water after a set period of time, that means he's got rabies. You probably don't want to wait for him to get afraid. You want to go and get some shots. But yeah. well, that's the sort of, that's the sort of testing we're waiting for, isn't it? Yeah. So you, you just keep, keep taking it to a beach every day and seeing, seeing what happens. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, okay, next round. Well, I did a lot better on that round. Four. Right, so this should be question 21. In Norse mythology, what is the end of the world called? So Thor, Odin, Loki, they all have a great big fight. The world ends. That wolf there eats the moon. What's it all called, though? Okay, next yeah. one. And what's it called in German? The same thing has a name in German. 
and the picture is a clue, a bit of an obtuse clue, but it is one. Well, mine are all guesses so far. Okay, next one. Right, according to a Mayan prophecy, what year was the world supposed to have ended? Somebody's phoning a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's my phone, actually. Um, do we get plus, plus minus one year again? <laughs> a thousand years either way. <laughs> no, because it's quite famous, this one, so it's got to be the year. Okay. Right. Where did a Roman warrior or hero believe he would go after he died? Is that like Theresa May walking through a field of wheat there? <laughs> Come on, you know who that is, surely. Come on, who is that? That's the gladiator. Yes. I, I, I prefer the image of uh, Theresa May, though, in costume, being okay. naughty. Yeah, but he actually gives the answer in gladiator. He says something like, don't worry if you find yourself walking through a field of corn or something. I'm, I'm not quoting properly, but it's, do not worry if you find yourself something for, for you will be somewhere. And that's the answer. Do not worry if you find yourself in a field of corn, one day you will be prime minister. Yeah, it could be that. You can go with that if you like. We'll see if you're right. Okay, next one. Before the second coming of Christ, where will the forces of good and evil fight their great last battle? That looks like a rave, actually. Before the second coming. Before the second coming, where will the forces of good and evil fight their last great battle? The streets of Leeds. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, now that that is him. So, who was the leader of the People's Temple, and what happened to them? So, I'm looking for a name, and then I'm looking for a few key words as to what happened to them. It's dead easy when you know the answer, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it was so strange. Yeah. Looks a little bit like Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> oh, he looks like more. It looks like a racing driver from the sixties, doesn't he? Formula One. I thought it looked a bit like Elvis. Yeah, I could, yeah. Okay, next one. Um, who sang It's the End of the World as We Know It? I saw a few pens working there. Hopefully a few people have got that. Pop quiz. Okay, next one. Who thought to himself, because he only thought this, he told people about it later, but at the time he just thought it. Who thought to himself, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, and on what occasion?
What do you mean, who thought it originally? He, thought it. he reported it later as a thought that he had. Oh, I see. Quotation from something, but at the time he thought, I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. And on what occasion did he think it? Okay, next one. Yep. Spell millennium. Everyone confident they've spelled that correctly? That's the American pronunciation, isn't it? Millennium, like aluminum. I think they both pronounce it the same. Oh. I don't think there's any millennium in America. Just nuclear. Yeah, well, that's a different <laughs> subject. Right. Regular. Okay. <laughs> okay, last one. What's the last word in the Bible? Worth a guess. Nineteen shillings and sixpence. <laughs> Close to a by a Gideon, I would have thought. Okay, right, let's have a few seconds for more drinks, crisps, corned beef crisps, corned beef, yeah. corn beef flavoured drink. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a couple of glasses of wine probably would have made the answers come a bit more freely, I think. Guesses. <laughs> How does everybody feel about that round? Good or uh, not so sure? Nice Challenging, but in a good way. Going on there. You had um, you had quite a few opportunities to guess, didn't you? It wasn't kind of you either know or you don't. You could at least have a stab at it. I'm looking forward to seeing how many people have spelled Millennium correctly. <laughs> Well, anyone who ever worked in events or de had to design stuff, they will damn well know how to spell millennium, I can guarantee it. OK, then. Right. Back to question 21. Where are we? Right. Um... The end of the world in Norse terms is Ragnarok. Ah, oh. the kids' TV program, isn't it? Yeah, lots of things are named after it. There's a big, uh, the last of the trilogy of Thor films was called Ragnarok. Mm. Man, I didn't get that one. Next one, and in German, it's Gotterdammerung. Got that one, yes. And that is a that is a still from the opera, the last opera of the Ring Cycle by Wagner, called Gotterdammerung. How did you know that, Ivor? Because I, I, I know about the Ring Cycle and uh, and Wagner, and that picture just tipped me the wink. I thought that there we go, then. that's how it's supposed to work. And Gotterdammerung sounds like a German sort of word that might be bloody hell or something. So it means twilight of the gods. Right. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> Anyone? 1984. Yeah. 2013? 2013? No, it's 2012. Oh man. There was even a film. Oh yeah, there was. It was on recently, actually. Yeah. There you go. Okay, next one. Uh, 
He says, don't worry if you find yourself someplace or other, for you will be in Elysium. I got that one. Uh, uh, the Elysian fields. I'll accept any uh, that. You had fields. <laughs> you can have half a point for fields. Yes. Yeah. You gave the answer. Well, you, you kind of gave the answer when you were giving the clue of, you know, he's, he, you'll find me in the fields of. So it's kind of oh, uh, field then. I don't think I said fields. I just said for you will find yourself somewhere. I, I bet when you look back at this recording, you will see your error. Well, you can blame it on my incompetence then. There's an extra half point just floating around, undeserved. <laughs> Well, when it comes to the final scores, if that half point just makes a difference. Okay, right. Next one. Anyone? In the fields. Armageddon. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I've got Apocalypse. Of course. Because that was the that's the Christian one, isn't it? Yeah. Is that where the four horsemen appear? Oh, it's all very complicated. Oh. But the answer to this question is Armageddon. Okay, next one. Jim, someone. Jones. Jim Jones. Oh. I can't give you a point for Jim. The old drank the Kool Aid. Yeah. So basically, uh, they were all they he set up somewhere called Jonestown in Guyana, and then everyone was persuaded to drink poison and kill themselves. Oh. So, so is that is that one point for Jim and one point one for the suicide? Point, one I point for Jim Jones. You get a point for Jim. Ooh. Oh you can have a half for Jim. Oh gosh. <laughs> and I mass suicide. Yeah you can have uh, you can there'll be the um what happened to them? Anything you've got like Guyana, Jonestown, suicide assassinated himself you can have a point <laughs> actually incidentally jim jones shot himself at the end he didn't take the poison because he watched them all die in agony and he thought i'm not having that mm. so he shot himself in the head oh loser yeah and he actually he recorded he recorded the people dying he had a tape recorder and he gave a final speech and he recorded it all bizarre Mm -hmm. I watched a documentary recently about him. Fascinating. Right, where are da, da, da. 27, REM. Yes, REM. It is the end of the world as we know it. Okay, next one. Anyone? Oppenheimer. Oh, oh. that as he watched the first nuclear explosion. You get two points for that then. Yes. And that is the bomb, Trinity. Cool. How many, um, because there was a bomb called Fat Boy, wasn't there? Oh, you've given away, you've given it away now, we also stopped talking. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, Millennium. Next one. How do you spell it? M I. Yes. Double L. Yes. E N N I U M. Yes. M I L L E N N I U M. It was the double N that caught yeah. everybody. <laughs> You'd see yeah. these huge exhibition panels with millennium when it was up to the millennium. He you spelled millennium wrong, mate. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Off. <laughs> okay, last one. Hmm. Worth a guess, oh, is it? Fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> the Amen. Yes. Oh. You laugh, Rob. You laugh. Okay, next round. Hang on, let me add these up because there are yeah. so many that I've got right. <laughs> right, okay. 
Okay, off we go. This is question uh, 31. So, uh, who painted this and what's it called? Okay, next mm -hmm. one. How many people died in the Titanic disaster? And you can have a hundred either way. Okay. Okay, everyone had a guess? Good. Right, next one. Which war lasted six days? Oh, yeah. Okay, next one. So, what were little boy and fat man? That's the question. What were little boy and fat man? So who's the um, cartoonist in that? Oh, I've no idea. I did a Google search for little boy and fat man. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the answer and found that. It looks vaguely like Larson. Okay, next one. There we go. Right. Who was the UK's most prolific serial killer? And what's his estimated number of victims? And uh, and you can have 50 either way on this. So it's quite a few. So to repeat, who was the UK's most prolific serial killer? And what is his estimated number of victims? It's not Chucky. Okay, next one. Right. This is a bit obscure, but I just loved it when I looked it up. What was the name of the biggest nuclear bomb ever exploded and how many megatons was it? So the second part is, the second part is worth a guess. Was it a pet name they gave the bomb or an official one? It's an official one. I imagine they're very proud of the name they gave it. And the second half was how many megatons? Okay, next one. 
Uh, right, this is a banshee. And why do you not want to hear the wail of a banshee? What's going to happen if you do? Okay, next one. Who famously died at the Battle of Bosworth? A lot of people did, but one person very famously in particular did. Which side do you want to Yes, 